What's up, YouTube? This is Andy here from We're All Around Gaming, coming at you with episode 20 of my Super Mario Sunshine LP. So in the last episode, we started Bianco Hills, and we finished Bianco Hills. So, I think it's only fitting that we go into Rico Harbor and do the secret missions. Alrighty, so, let's do this. So we're, we're going to start with at the secret level, the secret of Rico Tower. And as you're going to notice, I already did all the blue coins and all the 100 coin challenges. I want to get that out of the way, and I want to do the fun part first, which is the secret missions. I don't like looking for coins. I feel like they just shove that in the game again. It's it's ridiculous, and the blue coins are ridiculous too, because as you'll see, um, some of the blue coins are just freaking ridiculous. Because they're in different episodes, you can only get them in certain episodes, and that is just a pain in the ass if you're playing like me. I hate that. So, we're going to mash this pimple thing. Ugh. That sounds nasty. I don't like doing that. It hurts. And here's red coin number one. Like I said, this is pretty self- Oh shit, don't die. Please don't die. Oh my gosh, I'm like tilting my head. So it's kind of confusing for some reason. I don't know why I'm tilting my head. Now. I actually can't see how much time I have because my computer is blocking it. Oh, thank God I... Or thank Arcee as I went up here. Okay. Are there any, yes, there, there are a few in here that I need to know about. So I got a question for everybody. Like, why is there a caps lock key? Like, and is there any way I can turn caps lock key off? I hate the caps lock key because, like, I'm one of those typers that have to like look down at the keyboard when I type, and sometimes. So as I was saying earlier, before the game rudely interrupted me, I am one of those typers that have to look down at the keyboard when I type, and sometimes I accidentally hit the caps lock key when I'm typing, like I'm going to reach for the A, since A is a vowel, it's going to be a common letter that I'm going to hit, and I will have like half a sentence in all caps, and I can always tell where it is because there's going to be a missing A. Does that happen to anybody else, or is that just my stupid ass that happens to? So, yeah, so this is the first one, not that hard, except I die, I always die one time, and then I finish it the next time. It's been like a running thing where I die the first time, now the second time I live. So, I know what you're thinking right now. There's no second secret level for um, Rico Harbor, but there is a secret shine sprite that a lot of people don't know about. And the only reason I know about it is for watching other LPs. And I used to have a guidebook. You have to go all the way over to episode 2. Blooper Surfing Safari, and get and j just go into the cave like I'm about to do. Gosh, you know what I was thinking earlier? Like when I'm rewatching my LPs, I can hear me clicking buttons, and I I don't know. Some people don't like that, but I actually like that sound of clicking buttons. It's kind of soothing. Like when you're listening to somebody else's live commentary, and that you can hear them clicking buttons. I don't know. I kind of like it. What do you guys think about that? Like. Here's the R button, you can hear it. I just I made that obnoxiously loud. And you see there's no blue coin here because I already got it. So the secret to this one is I believe if you can finish this race in under 45 seconds, you get a shine sprite. And I believe the yellow one is the best one to pick for my style of racing. I like to pick the yellow blooper. It, Unless you are really, really good, you're not going to make it under 45 seconds. You actually have to take a secret jump. That kind of seems like cheating. And it kind of is cheating, but the game wants you to do it. And it's pretty much the only way to be able to do it. So right here, you're going to want to make your jump. It saves a lot of time, and you're going to want to make your jump. Because turning takes a lot of time. And there we go. We are almost finished. We are at the goal right now. There we go. Six seconds to spare. And if I guarantee you, if I, if I would have taken those turns, I would have missed it. So, let us move on to the 100 coin challenge. 
Hey everybody, it's Andy here from We're All Around Gaming with take two of this. I, this is my second time commentating this video. My first commentary was horrible. Oh my gosh. So this is the 100 coin challenge. If you haven't figured that out. And there's actually only like 120 coins estimated in Rico Harbor. So it's going to be kind of a challenging one. But if you do exactly as I do, you should get be able to get a lot of coins. A sufficient amount. So my first commentary of this video was horrible. Like I was saying, I said, um, so, yeah, a lot. Like, filler words where I couldn't think of anything to say. Normally, I'm pretty good at talking to myself, which is pretty much what commentating is. You're talking to yourself. But you're trying to make other people laugh in the process of it. But in this last time, I just could not do it. And I stuttered a lot and I messed up a lot. So, like that right there. I did it. That's what I did a lot. But I couldn't think of anything to talk about. So in this commentary, I wanted to talk about music. What kind of music do you guys like? I was kind of wondering that. Um, personally, I know this is going to make a lot of people mad. I'm, I like rap. I've like... I think my aunt showed me rap at a really young age, and I've always just liked the really good beats, and I've liked the, the lyrics. Like, I don't, I don't support emulating the lyrics. Like, I don't support like, yo man, popping foos with my 720 popping foos, cause they be crossing me. I don't, I don't support that. But I do support it's like deep lyrics, and a lot of people are gonna hate what I say next. Um, my favorite rapper is definitely Drake. Yes, the Drake that everybody hates on. YOLO the motto. YOLO dog. You know. That, the guy who has the most annoying song ever, the motto. I like. I don't like when Drake is like trying to make like radio songs. I like his album songs where like they're just like really deep and the lyrics and the beat is just are really amazing. Well, music I don't like. I really don't like hardcore. I know a lot of people are going to be angry about that because for some reason a lot of people like hardcore. Personally, I do not like when people are screaming into my ear about how much they hate themselves. I know, I know some people get pissed when I discuss metal music with them. I always tell them that I don't like people screaming into my ear. And you're about to see the biggest fail you've ever seen in your life coming up. Because basically what metal is, is technically a lot of screaming about how much they hate themselves or something. I know a lot of people are going to like make the stereotype about rap. It's all about being a gangster, homie dog. No. The rap I like is not about that. But every single hardcore metal song that I've ever heard has actually been about hurting themselves or killing themselves or how much they hate themselves. And I've got people so butthurt over that. I do like, I kind of like rap music a little bit. Like... I guess you could say like Green Day and Breaking Benjamin when they're not screaming into my ear. I kind of like them. But another type of music I do not like is country. Country. I hate it. And it's kind of funny because I have a woodshop teacher that has stereos in the woodshop. And guess what his favorite genre of music is? Country! I've heard every single country song in the book because I've had a lot of woodshop classes because my counselor doesn't know how to put people in classes because I've taken woodshop like I think it's like my fourth time now when it's you're only supposed to take it like two times and my counselor messes everybody's schedule up she does like I understand that it's a difficult job but this is like this is not like New York high school there's only like 500 kids in my high school it's not that hard and like I always love the first day of like a new semester or like a new trimester I walk into a class and there's like 40 kids in the class and there's like no seats especially because like we have a lot of technology classes my, my school is like really big about like computer technology they want to teach us a lot about technology so these next couple coins you're going to need the rocket nozzle as you can see but my school is like really big about technology so we have like a lot of computer labs and like for example we have a I had a web design class last semester and 
there was like there's only 32 computers in the class but the counselor put like 45 kids in the class how does that work like how can you not see that i mean she's kind of an intelligent lady i only i've only been in there one time for the stupidest thing ever apparently i was bullying somebody but she was just a drama whore but i don't know she, she was crazy but i'll i'll talk about that later so conveniently the last eight coins are on top of this ship thing yes and this is not super mario 64 so you have to as you'll see in a second the shine sprite is going to be all the way across the map Ugh. Yeah, so country music. I don't really like country music because I'm not really a fan of the people who like it either. I'm not, like, I understand, like, there's, like, girls who like it, but, like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I went to, like, a, like a, a, a giant, like, gun show thing one time or, like, a flea market or something. And there's a bunch of like rednecks there. I'm not saying that if you like country, you're a redneck. I'm just saying generally. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not I don't want to offend anybody because I want to get all the viewers I can because I love all of my viewers. Oh, my screensaver is showing up. Uh, I have the best screensaver ever. It's like 3D text that says I am error. So now I want to talk about just the game in general and the problems with it and the the con the pros with it the pros the game is very 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 easy to control it's, i love the controls in it i mean it, it, do it doesn't follow the rules of physics at all but this is a mario game you can't expect that <laughs> so um the cons with the game is definitely the camera in the floodless levels but and another pro with the game is the story I mean I guess it's kind of an insult to the Pianta's intelligence to think that Mario is actually Shadow Mario but I do love the epic plot twist and when once you go to peanut park and you do the first level where you find out that Bowser jr. thinks that Peach is his mom I, I love that plot twist. I remember when I was little, I was like, oh, it all makes sense now why he's doing this. So, we're getting up to a point where I want to I talk about something. So, I actually had to watch a walkthrough to find all the blue coins because I couldn't remember where all of them were. And the person who made the walkthrough, they're a very prominent LPer in the LPing community. Apparently, LPing is now a verb. But... They said that you could you could get a blue coin in a certain level episode, I guess, which was true, but you did not have the necessary tools to get it, which is really frustrating. So now, every blue coin through 15 through 30 or 16 through 30 is in a certain level. So pay attention to the second line of the text if you are playing along with me, because I. I say which episode they can be found in. And I also tell you when to get Yoshi or when to get a certain nozzle. I mean, sometimes you might have to get the rocket nozzle. Sometimes I can do some things with the hover nozzle that most people can't do because this is like my third playthrough of the game and I love this game. So I wanted to apologize for the atrocious audio quality of the secret levels and the secret shine sprite of Rico Harbor. Um, at the beginning of this video, I want to apologize for that because I was recording live and somebody turned up the volume of my mic all the way up in audacity. And that's why it sounds like I'm on the phone for some reason. And I really don't like that. It was probably me. I don't know why I said somebody did that, but it was probably me on accident because I was recording a certain series, a new series with a certain person. And I don't know if that's going to be up yet because it's actually, I'm trying to keep it a surprise, but if it is up, you probably know what I'm talking about. But if it's not up, then I'm starting a new series and it's pretty sweet so far. I mean, yeah. Pokemon is the hint. Because I know a lot of people love Pokemon. I love Pokemon too. And like I said, I don't know if I've said this before, but I'm not a closet Pokemon player. 
I will, if somebody asks me if I play Pokemon, I'll tell them, like, I'm that guy in my school where if people have a question about Pokemon, like, they, they're, like, reminiscent on the days that they used to play Pokemon, like, back in their childhood, they will come up, they will find me, and they will ask me a Pokemon question, and I will always gladly answer it. Like, there's this one guy, his name is Robert, he came to my school when I was in 8th grade, and he it, he figured out found out that I played Pokemon. I think he played Pokemon too. He asked me what was the best Pokemon of all time, like in terms of strength and stuff. And I told him I don't know. It depends. It, he came towards the end of the year. Oh yeah, get the Turbo Nozzle for these next couple coins. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So he came towards the end of the year, and um, I told him I would tell him next year in ninth year, ninth grade freshman year, and. Uh, so the next next year in freshman year, he actually we were sitting at the drinking fountain. I was at the bigger drinking fountain, and he was at the smaller drinking fountain. He came up and he asked me, "What was the best Pokemon?" I told him I still didn't have an answer because it depends. And I told him I would tell him later. So I think it was a long time after freshman year. He came up and asked me. He was eat, it was at lunch. I was walking. He came up and asked me, "What was the best Pokemon?" Because he still remembered the question. And I completely forgot about it. I just told him Mewtwo, so he quit bothering me. But I thought it was really interesting. It was like, he remembered that question for so long. And he's not even a Pokemon fan. He was like, I guess you could say he was one of the cool kids. Like, I, I think he's a druggie, but I'm not sure. But that's why I'm, I'm not giving his last name. So, the um, one where I had to spray the corresponding X's. That is the one where this LP are messed up. He said you can get the coin in episode 6 through 8. Technically, you can, but it, you need the Turbo Nozzle to get it. So, for the last two coins, you need to have Yoshi. And try to eat all the blue butterflies, but don't talk to this guy. He is very inconveniently placed. And just keep jumping, and if you, eventually you'll eat all the butterflies. You, I think you have to eat all of them. I'm sorry for any spelling errors or grammar errors in these. I'm... I had like so much footage to edit. I had like an hour of footage and now I have the video done to like 18 minutes. So that means I had like, I had to edit out 42 minutes of video. Yeah, the game was being very mean to me. It was not cooperating. So, the yellow spider, I don't know if you guys caught that earlier, is actually called the clamber. So, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, deuces. If I could stop this audio file because my computer is lagging. Stop lagging, computer. Deuces.